Hello everybody and welcome back to what I think is one of the most requested all trade accepted videos I've ever had. I honestly couldn't tell you if it was the same person over and over again, but they were very adamant on doing a Flyers All Trades Accepted, so we're gonna give it a shot today. I know that there have been some more moves since I have updated the roster. For example, I know Kadri has signed, so I'm grabbing a new roster here. This is the one because people always ask. It says it's for franchise geeks, which is not me because I don't know anything about franchise mode as you guys were made very aware of during my Houston Hammerheads reign. Maybe I have many Broad Street Bully fans that watch the channel, I'm not fully sure. But all I know is that I have seen a lot. Thankfully, this roster has teams I can select. Oh, okay. I kind of like that logo, it looks neat. And this one is very interesting. So let's go with Boston. The Boston Bruisers. Yeah, we're not going to be using them though. We are going to be using the Philadelphia Flyers. I guess just a brief explanation. If anyone is tuning in to this for the first time, their first all trades accepted. The reason I do a 33 team expansion is because you get a lot more trades during the offseason than you do during the actual season. So in order to, you know, make it spicy and actually have some things going on, it's best to do it this way. I always add a contract year just to make it simpler, keep the salary cap on, CPU trades on, but everything else can go. Especially this. Don't you even think about editing my lines, you jabroni. I'm just trying to think because I almost always mess this up. Did I do everything correctly? I'm pretty sure I did. I set up 33 team expansion, injuries off. My eyes are literally closed right now trying to think. Okay, I think we're all right. Famous last words, to be honest though. I have a feeling that something is going to be wrong. I will auto-generate the protection list, the always inaccurate draft lottery results here we go which player are we going to lose i don't know why oh we lost scott lawton that that kind of hurts i'm not gonna lie also i don't even remember what word it was now but i think i said a wh like whip like a whip cool whip in the I, I could just be making that up but it sounded like it anyway so the boston bruisers select scott lawton i ain't got time for draft interviews we're just gonna hop right into it here and see you know the first few picks i usually go to like five just to see what the new expansion team gets i don't know where philly's pick is Sim options. We are pick four. Oh, wow. All right. So we are not doing our pick. We will just simulate the first five here and see what we get. We get Volchenkov, medium, elite, 80 overall sniper. And last but not least, the Boston Bruisers get a medium elite Trubarov. Two-way forward, 73 overall. There you have it. There's your top five picks from this draft. Let's sim to the re-sign phase. Although I shouldn't have to do anything here, we should be all set because of the fact that I added a contract year. All right, Brink, you could actually be some decent trade baits. You know what? I will absolutely be offering you a contract. Oh boy, is it gonna be one of those weird rosters again? Why is there so many X-Factors and abilities on this man's? Yeah, there's a lot of X-Factors, but you know what? There was one roster that had a lot of abilities assigned to players, but they kind of checked out because even if there is a lot of X-Factors and abilities, as long as they're balanced, then I don't see a problem with it. Personally, Ryan Ellis at 89 overall, that seems a little extreme to me. Mr. Hart is only an 82, so we don't really have the best starting goalie in the world. Let's zoom to what I imagine will be a rather lackluster free agency because of the fact, like I said, we added a contract here. So teams won't really have too much trouble signing their players, I would imagine. Whatever players they do have to sign. We got Connolly. 78 overall, but here comes the fun part. It is time to update the trading block. Here we go, Philly. We are once again, of course, deploying the I don't want draft pick strategy. Our surplus has everything. We are willing to give up any player, but we're a little bit more specific with our desires. No draft picks, and we want players kind of between the age of 24 and 36 so that they're not prospects and we're not gonna get completely fleeced. I want these trades to make us better, not worse. And on that note, Let's sim to next season and see if we get any trades. We do. York, wow. Okay. We're getting Merrill and Goudreau from the Minnesota Wild. It's a pretty big trade, but we will go ahead and accept that one. That was quick. Ooh. Konechny for Ranta and Brady Shea. We will be accepting that because obviously we don't have a choice. You guys know that by now. Another one from Chicago here. We're getting Robinson and DeHaan. This is going to be interesting. Our roster is going to look a lot different when we go to edit the lines than it would have beforehand. We're losing Brink. No! How is his trade value low enough that Gagne and Pizik are a fair trade? Anyway, we will go ahead and accept that one. Not happy about it but we accepted it. All right, that was good fun. Let's go ahead and sim up to the regular season because who actually cares about the preseason? If you go hard on watching preseason games, then you are much more of a hockey fan than I will ever be. There's just X-Factors and abilities 
everywhere. It's like Halloween giving out candy here. So this is what our offense looks like. We got Couturier playing with Atkinson and Ferebi, plus five in the line chemistry there. Then we got JVR playing with Hayes and Owen Tippett, Robinson with Goudreau Frost, and then Cates with Brooks and Gagne. Oh, Mark Pizik, 82 overall, and he's in the AHL. But I think we have a lot of good... Oh my word, we have a lot of defensemen up here. Okay, I need to send some of you guys down. Hello? If we have Frost on the second line, we get a plus five. All right. I mean, that's what it does for best line, so I'll just trust the CPU on this one. I have no idea why these guys get a zero. I mean, I understand that their hold line pinch is both an X for some reason. I could do something like this and boost up the chemistry, but overall wise, that is definitely not the move to make. And in net, we got Ranta backed up by Katahat now. So that is a little bit of an improvement at 83 overall, but nothing drastic. Just out of complete curiosity i want to put the ahl lines together here okay not too bad looks pretty solid other than this dash three here but we will forget about that oh okay two plus fives yandles on the third pair of the ahl now i guess we're good to go let's have a look at the trading block and make sure it wasn't updated so we don't get finessed and we are, yep, it got updated. Of course it did. Now that I think about it, did we get any trades where they took draft picks from us? I can't recall one off the top of my head. With those trade block changes, I think we are ready to rock and roll here. Again, our wants is a player between the age of 24 and 37, just so that, you know, they're probably NHL ready at that point, And otherwise they won't have any trade value, I would think. That's sort of my logic. I could be totally off on that. Let me know if you guys think that works, but... It seems to have so far. And for surplus, we are an open book. Take whoever you want. Sim up to the trade deadline, although I feel like we're going to have a lot of things to do before we actually get there in terms of accepting trades and editing the lines, but maybe not. Maybe we are through all of that. We are past trading. And of course, just for fun, I will try to find some trades at the trade deadline, but we are not off to the hottest start here. It could be worse though. It could definitely be worse. I'm a little surprised we haven't seen any trade action, but I think that's that just further proves my point that teams just want to finesse you they basically want to make their team good now and they just want to give you some mediocre at best prospects that somehow have decent trade value yeah if we can float at a decent record here we might be able to make some big moves at the trade deadline it does appear like our division is very very competitive so we're gonna have some troubles making it in even though our record is honestly pretty solid i'm very very happy with that time to see if there's any big named players on the block i know that doing this sort of changes what we will have on our trade block, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just set us to a buyer because we are trying to buy. Dougie Hamilton's on the block. We could try to find a trade for him, but I don't think that will work. There's a few players for sure, but I don't know. There's nothing too extreme. Anyway, let's go ahead and try to find one for Dougie. No dice. What about Jake Muzzin? Oh, we do get one. Really? I have to accept it now, but wow, that sucks. Oh wait, there's more. Okay. A first, a third in Hayes. All right. And no, that's not happening. Okay, so maybe I'll go with this one. First, third, and Hayes. Yeah, we'll accept it. Not too sure why I went after a defenseman. We are already all set back there. So hopefully I can try to find a forward trade that will give us a defenseman in return. Or sorry, we'll be looking for a defenseman in return. We can get Peron here for Provorov and Braun plus a third. Oh, there's five trades. Okay, we have... A lot of options. Rista Linen. I think he's in the AHL right now. Pizik. No, I don't want to get rid of Shea. A first, a third in Risto. Or he get rid of Muzzin, the guy we just picked up. Plus a fifth and a sixth. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to do this one. Yeah, let's go ahead, get rid of Risto first and a third, and pick up Perron. Mike Riley at 85 overall. I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know about that one, but I, I'm going to say that's a no from me. I'm vetoing that. Are we able to get Varlamov? Because we do kind of need a goalie after... Wait, we didn't lose Ranta, did we? No, I think I went with a different trade. But let's see if we can get him anyway. No, doesn't matter. We are unable. I will try for Kachur and then Tatar. And after that, I think we can just about wrap it up. Kachur, it's... Oh, he's sold already. Never mind. We could try for Tamas Tatar, however. Nothing. Okay, well... It's worth an effort. Yeah, there's not too many other players here I really want to go after. So I think we're all set. I've made a couple trades, which should be good enough. Go put the lines together and see if it looks any different. Well, I mean, it's going to look different. I don't know why I said that. I think what I meant to portray is... I wonder if we're going to be any better. Okie dokie. Thank you, trade deadline. But, okay, I'll, oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me check the summary real quick just to see what is going on. How do I do this again? Oh, it's over here. Trade summary. It's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> got to be here summary. <laughs> wow, I can't speak when I make videos. 
I'm glad to see that even after like two plus weeks, that doesn't change. Florida got a third and Strawman in exchange for a second and a fourth. The Bruisers have grabbed, why is their thing D-E-D? -E anyway, they got a first, a third, and hey, oh, that's a trade we made. <laughs> Hold on. That Detroit trade was us as well, but then San Jose made a trade there that's you know, had Logan Couture headed to Nashville. So that's the, the biggest part of that, I suppose. Winnipeg got Jesper Faust from the Bruisers. New Jersey gets Denisenko and a sixth in exchange for Subban, a third and a fourth. All right, trade deadline. It's been real, but I am out of here. Los Angeles gets Riley and a seventh in exchange for a second, that guy, and another second. All right, that's a pretty big trade. We have another one here. Uh, those three... <laughs> going to the Islanders in exchange for Varlamov and a fourth. It wants Noah Cates right here on this line, which is kind of strange. I wonder if I move JVR, moves it to a, okay, well, you know what? It was working before. I'm going to just let it be. So we still got Couturier with Atkinson and Farabee on the first line. We got Perron, Frost, and Cates on the second line. Our third line is JVR, Goudreau, Robinson, and then we got Cooper, with Brooks and Gagne. Our defense actually lost the plus five, so that is unfortunate, but we still have a plus three there. Can't be too upset. Goaltending, we stayed the same. All right. Yeah, we got 86 overall Jake Muzzin here now, so that is solid. Let's go ahead and keep simming. Will we see the post-trade deadline collapse? If we do even a little bit, we don't stand a chance because our division is very, very tight, as you can see on the right side there. The Metro is happening this year. Okay, okay. Let's go, Philly. We are coming out of this trade deadline on fire. Are you kidding me? That's got to be the most wins I've ever seen after a trade deadline in my entire existence. We do need to win games, though, because like I said, this division is just so intense. We made it. We made it. I was starting to think we weren't going to, even with all those dubs. But nevertheless, the Philadelphia Flyers have qualified. With 98 points, we finished fourth in the division. That is crazy. That got us 10th in the league. The 19th placed Dallas Stars managed to make it in. So that just means they're going to win the Stanley Cup. That's usually how it works out. Your Washington Capitals took the President's Trophy home. We got 84 points from Sean. So point a game. And then we got 77 from Tony, which is outrageous. We got 68 from Atkinson. We got 52 from Farabee. Sandheim put up 46. Same with Ellis. Ranta went 32, 20, and 6 with 6 shutouts, a 914 and a 262 so he actually did very well Hart did quite well as well going 14 10 and 0 with a shutout 921 and 244 it was the nervous guy that takes home the most dubs this season he had 39 with the st louis blues at a 907 save percentage and a 283 gaa i see a 925 down here from thatcher that's just to be expected guys sick 918 from markstrom adam fox put up 93 points as a defenseman we got 92 from letang i swear i didn't touch any of the settings this is all just normal it has to be the x factors and whatnot mccarr had 90 carlson put up 86 hamilton with 79 we tried to get him we did but we failed matthews takes home the art ross with 114 points he had 78 goals what on earth is this simulation marner got 105 so these were the only two players to break the hundo mark this year over chicken gets 97 he had 54 tucks on the season nylander also had 97 wow that's crazy <laughs> Of the top four point getters, three of them are Maple Leafs, and this was probably their first line. Giroux lit the lamp with the Senators, putting up 93 points, 20 goals, 73 hamburger helpers, and Riley Smith dominated with the Bruisers their inaugural season, and he puts up 90 points. Somehow, Kadri ended up over there, and he got 88. It is playoff time. We're taking on the Florida Panthers, which is a very intimidating first-round opponent. I cannot lie. We are down by one after the first three, and okay, that's huge. That is huge. Whoever wins this next game has a big advantage, and it's us. Wow. Will they push a game seven, however? Yes, they will. Game seven time against the Flo Rida Panthers. I'm gonna go ahead and do... A period by period sim for the first two, and then we will do a real time sim for period number three. So, on that note, 2 1 for the Florida Panthers after the first. Bang! Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I see you, Gagne. Aw. Lundell just shuts us down immediately. And then Hornfist just piles on. All right. I think it's all but done here. I'm just going to sim the period. We don't stand a chance. 6 2 is your final. Great effort from the Flyers. 
but not great enough. Now, who is going to win the Stanley Cup? That's the question. Will it be the Toronto? It will be the Toronto Maple Leafs. How about that? Braun had six points in seven games, so he did quite well in the playoffs, honestly. Couturier also had six. Farabee and Frost and Tony D put up five. Ranta did not perform. That is bad. Oh, of course. Of course, Varlamov does unreal in the playoffs. Puts up a 927. Yeah, it would have been sick if I could have got him. Also, a cheeky little 936 here from Jackery. Tori Krug led defenseman by pretty decent margin there. He got 22 points. The next closest was Morgan Riley, who had 16. And then we got a trio here. Latang, Petrie, and Uyghur all putting up 14. Matthews led the playoffs. He's probably going to get the Consumite as well. It's going to be a clean sweep in terms of trophies for this guy. So 32 points from him. 26 from Nylander and Marner. That line is just absolutely outrageous. Tavares put up 21. We got 20 from O'Reilly. Buchnevich and Bunting both put up 19. I don't know how I feel about this roster. I'm not too sure. I might actually change it up for the next video. Well, let's have a look at the awards, shall we? We we know that the Toronto Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup. We know that Washington won the President's Trophy. So it was St. Louis that Toronto played in the final. Maybe he was nervous after all. Matthews wins the Art Ross. We already knew that. He gets the heart as well. We get the Norris heading to Chris Letang. Matthews takes home the Lady Bing. Bouchard gets the Calder. Matthews with the Con Smythe. Demko gets the Vesna. Bobrovsky gets the Jennings. Labushkin gets the Bill Masterton. That guy... I want to say, like, you know when people say aqua weird and say agua? Is it aguasin? Maybe it is. Patrice gets the Selkie, Matthews with the Lindsay, and he also gets the Richard. Yeah, it was a pretty clean sweep for Matthews. He's like pretty much every other award. Here's the playoff tree. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Again, I know that this has been requested quite a bit, so there's either one very intent... Philadelphia fan out there or there's a bunch of you but either way thank you guys for suggesting this hopefully you did have a good time with that one and on that note I will see you soon